Hey there, Chris Wheatley from Hot Tub University and today we're talking about hot tub shell construction. Now there's a lot of important things when you're buying a hot tub and the shell is probably the number one thing. It's certainly where most of your money is going when you purchase a hot tub. Probably 30% of your purchase price is going to be the shell of the hot tub. It's also where cheap brands, mass merchants, internet hot tubs, all of the low end hot tubs are cutting corners to cut the cost of their tub and it's a big deal. Now you're probably wondering why I'm standing in a marina if I'm talking about hot tubs and the reality is hot tub construction and boat hull construction have a couple things in common that are fundamental to making this a good reliable product. To this day there is nothing that is better than a hand laid fiberglass shell and if we're talking about a boat or we're talking about a hot tub this is what you want to look for. Now one of the big things we find in the boating industry and in the hot tub industry is the weight and the thickness of the shell. So there's all kinds of goofy things we can do and we can use rigidizers and we can use support structures but nothing is going to make a better shell than hand rolled multiple layers of fiberglass that are rolled in place, cured, extra layers put on them and this is going to be the difference between a hot tub that's going to last for decades and a hot tub that's going to be in the landfill in four or five years. You look at most of the cheap brands that are coming into the marketplace, you look at anything you're buying at a mass merchant like Home Depot or Costco or Wayfair, where they are cutting their corners and where they are taking a couple of thousand dollars off the price isn't on buying power, it isn't on volume sales, it's on the shell. You look at the weight of a really good hot tub shell, we can have a seven foot tub that might weigh in excess of 900 pounds. You look at some of the cheap stuff that's coming out there, they might weigh as little as 500 pounds. Now let me tell you something, three or 400 pounds worth of fiberglass and fiberglass resin is thousands of dollars, not just in material, but in the workmanship and the labor to apply that onto your tub. So if you're not getting a good shell, you're starting in a deficit position that unit is not going to last and when the shell of a hot tub fails that's the end. You can't repair a cheap shell. It's really hard to determine if a manufacturer is building a good shell or not and one of the things we take into account when we look at the manufacturing of a hot tub we look at not just the composite layers that are in that shell, we look at the types of resins they're using, we look at the support network of the shell and how it's how it's built because if they're applying enough glass and they're hand rolling it we end up with what's called a self-supported shell. That means it requires there's no props and supports underneath of it. The cheaper way to do a shell is to simply make the shell thin, throw a couple of props and supports under it, and uh, we call that a cradle supported shell, and those are the shells that are ending up in the landfill in a short period of time. So when you're out there shopping for a hot tub and you see a couple of thousand dollars worth of difference, one of the big parts of that is not going to be volume purchasing or anything else, it's simply going to be that it's a cheap shell. Now as a consumer, this is super tricky for you to figure out. Hot Tub University, come see us. We have the information of what these guys are doing in the shells. We know what the construction of a shell is. We have an evaluation tool that takes into account everything to do with the weight and the surface area and the type of materials they're using in a shell. And our evaluation tool can give us a very, very good insight into the quality of that shell and whether or not it's going to be something that's sustainable for you, the end user. One of the big advantages of our private buyer service is taking advantage of this expertise where we can look at all of these finer points of a manufacturer manufacturing process and really determine whether you're buying a good tub or whether you're buying something that's going to be in the landfill in five years. So Hot Tub University, shell construction, super important, super tricky. Come and get some help from us. It's hottubuniversity.com. We have a free comment section. We have consultation services and our private buyer service where we'll actually uh, negotiate your price and save you more money than the cost of the service in well over 95% of the cases is probably where you should be. Chris Wheatley, Hot Tub University, happy hot tubbing.